The man convicted of murdering two children in L.A. and Orange County is in the 1980s, is faced with photos and the family members of the children he killed before he is finally sentenced for his crimes. Kenneth Rasmussen was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Today, the victim's family is finally getting some closure in a long journey mm. to justice. KCAMI's Jasmine Veal is here now with the emotional day in court. Jasmine? Susie Wan, I mean, it was just horrible to hear what these families have been going through. The sentence, it was handed down for this convicted sexual predator, Kenneth Rasmussen, who pleaded no contest to two counts of murder back in February, but not before a series of emotional statements from the victim's families. Photos of Jeffrey Vargo played on a screen inside a courtroom in Pomona, showing him as a baby and then as a six-year-old boy. That's when Jeffrey's life was suddenly cut short in 1981. His convicted murderer, now sitting just feet away, stoic in a mask and orange jumpsuit, awaiting his sentence as family members spoke. I'm the mother of Jeffrey Vargo, a happy little six-year-old brown-eyed boy who was kidnapped and murdered at the 4th of July in 1981. 40 years have passed since we've seen that. We miss him every single day. Connie Vargo says her son's body was found in Pomona just 25 miles from their home in Anaheim Hills a day after he disappeared. He was murdered and left in a construction site. What kind of a monster would leave a little six-year-old boy in a construction site dead? I still don't know why. His murder remained unsolved for decades until a DNA hit connected Kenneth Rasmussen to the crime and he was arrested in Idaho. Jeffrey's father says he is now left with a painful memory of when he saw his son last. Because of your evil acts, the last time we saw our son was to view his scarred and lifeless body lying in a casket with his favorite toys. Investigators also linked Rasmussen to another boy's unsolved death in 1986. That's when his second victim, Miguel Antero, went missing from his home. That same day, the six-year-old's body was found in a wash in Agora Hills. DNA evidence also connected Rasmussen to this murder. His father, in a recorded statement, says he felt his son's pain on the day he was killed. I was in my office working, and I doubled over in pain when he was stabbed twice. One after another, more family members spoke. And smite down one, two, three, four, to 47 times. This is the times that my cousin was impaled. Then the judge. The sentence to a term of life. A sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole for the now 59 year old convicted sex offender, but what's already been decades of agony for these two families. And you know, some family members had wanted to see the death penalty in this case, but of course the state has a moratorium on that. The court did agree that Rasmussen will remain in protective custody. Susie Wan. All right. Jasmine, thank you very much.